Good morning, movers, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Today's workout is going to be a complete upper body blast. Okay, I'm hitting a little bit of everything, and in between each circuit, we're gonna do a really good burnout on the shoulders, the core, and the chest, okay? So make sure they stay tuned for that. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in this workout today. I'm gonna use my Swiss ball as well, so if you have one, that's fine. If not, you can just use the floor, that's no problem. Grab your water, your BCAAs. Hey, and don't forget to check out our holiday healthy sweet guide. It's just five recipes, but some of my go-tos, no refined sugar or flour, all the good stuff only. It's in the links below, so check that out and download your copy today. All right, let's do it and move daily. Okay, let's start with a little reach right across here. I'm excited about this workout. I gave it to some clients this morning and it seemed really good and hard, but fun and sculpting for the upper body. So if that's what you're jonesing for, this is the workout for you. All right, good. Let's get into some arm circles right here. Big stretch back, stick your chest out. Get that nice and warm. Ready to rock and roll here. Good, switch directions. <laughs> really, are we gonna rock and roll trees? I don't know, sometimes it just flows out. <laughs> I don't have control. All right, three, two, one. Keep your feet wide, let's do a little torso stretch here. Okay, just side to side. Now, I'm really playing with the lighting here. I've got more lights ordered, so please forgive if it goes blurry for a few seconds. I, I'm trying to get it organized so that it doesn't do that. Um, reach up and over the head. And um, right now I've got this pot light on, which isn't great lighting either. But <laughs> hopefully that doesn't matter as much to you as the workout does. Reach across. We will get it fixed. We are working on it, FYI. Good, four more here. Two and one. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Give me a nice little squat. Reach up here. That's it. Good, five more. Three, two, and one. Good, let's go back into some arm circles. Switch directions on those arms. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go right into the other part of the warm up here. So if you're just joining, if you missed the regular warm up, this is gonna be part of the intervals in between the circuits. Everyone's getting down into bare position. Okay, we're gonna go front to back, front back three times. Then we're gonna go into some plank rotations. So hover over the ground, one inch, opposite hand, opposite foot, everyone walk, let's go. I'll tell you when to switch. And backwards, back. Nice and slow, super controlled here. All right, front again, here we go. And back. And front one more time. Bump is down. And back. Four, three, two, and one. All right, I want you to stay in plank position here. This is still part of our warm up. Feet are shoulder width apart. Let's reach into rotation here for 10, two, and three. Big stretch into the chest. Five. Six, good. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, good, come on up. Again, in between each circuit, we're gonna do a series of that. Each time I do, I'm gonna add a new exercise onto it. All right, let's get started. You're gonna start with a wide to narrow press. I'm gonna go on my ball. I'll start with my 15s here. So on your back on the floor, on your ball or bench, you're starting wide, we're gonna turn narrow. Here we go, and press. Good. Squeeze at the top, 
Really put your mind in that chest muscle. You're gonna go right to skull crushers after this. So I'm gonna just drop one of my weights and hold the 15 in both hands for that. Nice, okay, walk yourself up. You can stand or sit for the skull crusher. I'll just stand, I think, since I'm here. Up and over, knees are soft, elbows super close to the ears. Here we go, and up. Now, I don't want you to rush through this sequencing, okay? If you're lifting heavy, you should be anywhere in that 12 to 15 rep range. With this time frame, it's only 40 seconds, so, if you're doing an exercise like this, for an example, but your arms get fatigued, just bring it down for a rest. Pop back up as soon as you can. And up. So go a bit heavier. Just slow your pace down, okay? Then go into a crush grip press next. All right, I'm gonna go back on my ball. I'm gonna keep my 15s but they're gonna touch together and I'm gonna use a crush grip and press straight up and down. Get ready. Here we go. Up and low. So my dumbbells are touching together, okay? This could also be done if you had a barbell and you wanted to do a closed grip barbell press. That works too. Tricep dips are next. Okay, good. Set those down. I'm gonna grab my bench. You have a chair, a box, anything you can uh, dip on there. Okay, knees bent are easier. Get ready. Here we go. Straight legs, of course, more difficult. Steps. I'm not gonna lie about that. Good, that's halfway. Break if you need. Arms are directly behind you in this. Nice flex at the top. Okay, a little cardio. Let the arms rest. Coming up here. Hiya. Wow. All right, let's set that aside. In our little cardio move, we're gonna do some seal jacks. Modify right here, otherwise we're jumping. Here we go, open, let's go. This is the moment to get that heart rate up. Whew, almost wanna hang my arms down for a second. Feel free. Halfway, let's go. wide narrow press so either on the ground on your ball okay start wide turn squeeze at the top now make sure your elbows are only coming to 90 degrees on the side Oh, I meant to go heavier on my dumbbells here. I gotta grab my 20s next round. I forgot. Hopefully you're, you've upped your game. Okay. 
Nice. Okay, skull crushers. I'm gonna stick with my 15 there, but I am gonna get my 20s handy here. Okay, ready? And work. Knee soft, press. burner. Just resting for a second. Right around 12, I'm like, whoa, muscle fatigue. All right, there you go. Good. Let's go into the crush grip. I'm going to stick with my 15s for this one. I'll do my chest press with a little heavier. All right. Remember, touch these together and push straight up. Again, you can do this from the ground. Course. box or bench. Here we go. Low push. You can straighten one leg if you wanted to make it slightly more difficult. Okay. Straighten both. With these uh, three tricep exercises back to back. Bent legs is good for me. Oops, I just myself <laughs> I'm twisting the bench just, just slid I don't know what happened there mind me don't mind me oh that's so hard okay into your seal jacks let's go set that aside Shake it out, shake it out. <sighs> Here we go, and boom, let's go. Nice and quick. This is your moment to get that heart rate up. Halfway, go, go, come on, push. skull crushes with the 20. I'll definitely have to take a break, but that's okay. I'll do that in three, two, and work. Knee soft, press. Oh. 
Oh, Nelly. 20 seconds left. Oh, that burns so bad, doesn't it? Oh, can't do anymore. Good. Well, good. There's the time. Woo! Okay. Crush, grip, press. Got my 15s. 40 seconds here. Touch them together. And work. one here. Okay. Get ready. Knock these out here. What can you, what can you do knowing this is going to be the last tricep exercise today? Moving on to back and biceps next. for that bear crawl plank circuit. Let's go down to the ground again, back into bear crawl position, hovering over the ground one inch in three, two, and walk forward. Little steps, good. I really want your knees just two inches max, reverse above the ground, okay? Whew, arms feel shaky, and forward. Reverse. One more time, forward. Reverse. This time we're adding a push up to our rotation, okay? Good, so I'm gonna grab my push up handles here. You can do regular push up or from the knees. We're gonna push up rotation 10 times on the push up. Here we go. Push up and stretch and two, reach, good. Halfway. Whew. That's nine. One more here for me. Low press and reach. Good. Okay. Now we're just going to add on to the end another bear crawl sequence. Okay. They're back, they're back three times. Hover, here we go. And one, two, three, four, 
five, reverse, and one. Two. Remember, opposite hand and leg forward are lifting up at the exact same time. Reverse. Forward, last one here. Two, three, four, reverse. Whoo, quads are feeling it. Three, four, and five. Good. On our third round, we'll add another thing onto that as well. Okay, back and biceps coming up. You're starting with some bent over rows. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter since my rep range is gonna be quite high. So I've got my 15s here. We're hinging forward at the waist, shoulders back, chest is out, and squeeze the shoulder blades. Here we go. Now, I'll call halfway here if you wanna stand up and stretch your back out, which I will do. You can feel free to do that. If you're good in this position for that long, that's fine. It'll listen to your back. Sorry, I forgot to call it halfway. <laughs> halfway. Oh, Actually, I only have 10 seconds left now. <sighs> Concentration curls are next, so you're gonna grab your seat. All right, set the weights down. Grab your boxer bench, have a seat. Okay, I'll call halfway on this. At the right time this time. Let's curl in front, here we go, and up. One more on this side. All right, switch sides, move quickly, and work, cross. Dumbbell pullovers next. Okay, nice. Let's set that there. I'm gonna grab my ball and my 25. Okay, whatever you want in your hands is good. Walk it out, drop the hips. And here we go. Long, 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 and over the chest. Feel it in your lats, drop your hips an inch, then you'll feel it. Okay, hammer curls are next. Oh, I think I'll grab my 15s for this. We'll try that. Shoulders back, knees are soft. Here we go, and little cardio interlude next. Let the arms rest. Those elbows tucked in. All right, good. Set the weights down. I'm gonna go into a crisscross front squat. So modify like this, cross, squat. Otherwise, we're gonna do crisscross jump into a front jump squat, okay? So like this, here we go. Criss, cross, go front and back. Criss, cross, go front and back. Got it?
Okay, bent over rows, coming up. Whew, good. Roll those shoulders back. Knees are soft. Remember, you're hinging at the waist. I'll call halfway if you need to stretch. Here we go. Up. All right, that's halfway. Stretch if you need. We'll keep going and work. Last one here, up. All right, concentration curls. Let's set one down. Have a seat. You want the seat to be relatively low. So I really want my elbow on my inside of my thigh here. Here we go. side and switch and work. Good, five seconds, moving into that dumbbell pullover next. Last here. Okay, moving quickly, Get out of the way. On your back, I've got my 25. Okay, hips are low. Here we go. Pull slow, 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 and quick on the up. Arms are completely straight here. Elbows are not bent. And this has littler to do with triceps, more to do with lats, your long back muscles, chest, flex at the top. Good. I liked it. Hammer girls. Okay. Palms facing. Working the long head of the bicep here. We go. Up and down. Halfway. Nice. Okay, let's go into that crisscross room squat. I'm gonna grab a sip here first with a buzzer rings. Ready? Here we go. And front. Modify this if you need for a low impact.
That's halfway. Stretch if you need. Tight tummy. And row. Whew, that is work. All right, concentration curls. You're ready. Up on the inside, palm to the ceiling here, okay? One more here. Oh, switch sides and up. My client did this with the 20s this morning. Good for her. She's stronger than me, clearly. <laughs> this is hard with 15. All right, dumbbell pull over. Drop the hips. And work slow, 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 pull over the chest, flex. Using my 25 pound here. One more hammer curl, and then our little cardio. All right, good. Okay, hammer curls. Okay, get ready. Elbows close, pull. Flex at the top, boom. Now, when I watch people do this, a lot of people lean forward, push their hips forward slightly to get the dumbbell up. Uh-uh. If you can't get it up, lighten the weight. Otherwise, even if you have to go slowly, don't move the body. Okay? I haven't used 15s and hammers in a while because my tennis elbow, but it was feeling better, so. Okay, nice. Last cardio, and then we're gonna go right into our bear crawl combo, so make sure your stuff is clear. Okay, here we go. And, just cross, front squat. Okay, good. So, bear crawl position. Get ready for it. Their back, their back, their back three. Ready? Here we go. And <laughs> I have the timer set. This is not a timed exercise, but just ignore the beeps and follow my voice here. Down, nice and low. One more round. There. Two, three, four. Reverse. Keep it low, keep it low. Oh, okay. Shake that out for a second. Push ups, rotation, jack. Okay? We're gonna add that here too. 
Get ready from the knees or toes. You might have to do it from the knees. Here we go. Push up and rotate, jack, push up and rotate, jack. That's two, we got eight more. One more for me, four, and rotate, jack, three, and rotate, jack, push up, and two, last one here, push up, and rotate, jack. Okay, good, one break if you need, and join me for that shoulder circuit. I think we'll start with some upright rows. I am gonna go lighter on here. Uh, this is one that gets me. If you have a barbell, feel free to use that. But we're gonna do a little elevated elbow here. Get ready, knees are soft. And up. Okay, remember, elbows are higher than the wrists in this action, okay? Yeah, barbell works wonderfully. If you have an easy curl bar, that would be great. Um, my clients, I had them lifting 15 pounds each hand, so if you can manage a heavier weight, feel free. I just gotta go lighter because this one doesn't love me. <laughs> but it's good for front shoulder and medial delt, so we're hitting it. Good. Okay, a little reverse fly, single side is coming up. So grab your bench or box. All right. I'm gonna stick with my one weight here, kneeling. Okay, so single side, arm is rounded, your reverse fly, I'll call halfway here, okay? Get ready, here we go. If, you're, if your box is a bit hard on your knee, like mine is, you can always just support your body weight, but make sure that your body's bent in half, hinged at the waist, okay? One more this side. All right, quickly switch and work. Rounded arm and up. All right, I want you to sit on the edge of your bench. You're gonna do lateral raises for five, and then front raises for five, then we're gonna drop down for as long as it takes us for 40 seconds. So get ready for five lateral raises. Sit tall, here we go. So you're up for five. I'll help you remember what to do here. Three, two, one, five front raises, here we go, and five, four, whoops. Three, two, one, four of each, here we go, up, four, three, two, one, four front, up, four, three, two, one, three, one, two, okay, there's the bell. But that is a good one to do all the way down through the ranks here, okay? Um, it's fun to go five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's go with a little frog jack. Get the heart rates up, rest the arms. Here we go. And low, jack, low. Modify this here, okay, without the hop. Elbows are higher than wrists. Here we go. Up. Good. 
Good job, halfway. Elbows. Stick your chest out. Boxer bench, kneel or hover. Here we go, grounded arm and up. All right, switch sides. That's good. I got 10 in there. Here we go, and I'm rounded. and go down and if we hit it all in the time then we'll go back up to five starting with lateral raises here we go two three three front up three two one two of each one two two front one two singles here one up one five of each five four oh it's getting heavy now with these eights five fronts one and two oh, that's it okay let's go to our cardio moving to that squat jack or frog jack okay check it out Ready, and go. Low, jack up. Good, let's start at four with our 
um, lateral and front raise, okay? Four lateral to start, shoulders back. Ready, four, three, two, one, front and four. Stick your chest out, three, two, one, three of each. Three, two, one, front. Three, two, one, two, two, one, two, front, two, one, one each, one, and one. Good timing. Okay, woo, cardio. Okay, here we go, jack it up. I have one more bear crawl sequence for you before we're done. We're gonna add a renegade row to it, to the push-up sequence, okay? Almost there, come on, push. Drop the glutes. Woo. Okay, water if you need, and join me for that last little sequence. Okay, <clears throat> before my heart rate comes down, let's finish this off. Get ready, hover three times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and backwards. One, two, Three, four, and forwards. Two, three, four, five, and back. Hover and forward. And back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whew. So I'm going to do a push up. Renegade row. Jack, rotation. I'll do it in that order, okay? Push up, row, jack, rotation. Ready? Here we go. Push up, row each side. One, two, jack here. Rotate, push up, switch. That's one. Woo, it's gonna be a while. Here we go. Push up and row, jack, if you can't rotate the dumbbell, leave it down there. Just use your hand. Two, push up, row, row, jack, rotate. Three, row, row, jack, rotate. Nice tight core on that rotation. Four. I'm using 15s here, this is hard. I'm gonna take my time. It's five. Five more. Whew. Okay, push up, row, row, jack, rotate. Six, push up, row, row, jack, rotate, seven, uh, push up, row, row, jack, rotate, Eight. Oh, that rotation's hard. Here's nine. Up. Up. Jack. Nine. Nine. Okay. One more. I can do it. Eight. Here we go. 
go. Push up and row, row, jack, up, up, and wow, wow. That was a hard finisher. Good job, everyone. You and Daily in your upper body blast. Join me for a stretch if you can. Hey, don't forget to click in the links below for that little holiday suite. The booklet, okay, just enter your email address. You can download that booklet today and get baking tonight. All right, see ya in the next workout. Okay, nicely done, everyone. Have a seat. I just wanna start by stretching my chest out. I'm gonna reach, reach as far back behind me as I can and just jimmy my hips forward to I increase the stretch and then let my head fall back. Oh, feels good. Okay, it was a good little workout. Upper body strength. A lot of us neglect the upper body. You shouldn't. That's what makes your arms look like you work out. Um, I remember going to the Roxy in Vancouver once. It was a club, like when I was younger, in my 30s. And uh, roll that wrist up here. And I leaned forward on the bar like this to order a drink. And the bartender is like, wow, you work out. It felt so good, I'm like, yeah, I do. But you can tell by my arms that I work out. And I know as we age, it's harder to build lean muscle tissue um, and harder to stay lean so that that muscle tissue pops, but it's not impossible. And as long as you are consistent and you do workouts, bring the arm across, that reflect the kind of training you need to do, to build the muscle. So workouts like this, that's what, that's what gets that, right? Um, you'll still be toned and have endurance if you do lighter weights and such. Um, let's round through the back, stretch side to side. But if you want muscles to grow, you've got to lift heavier, um, sometimes lower volume, right? Heavier weights and you've got to eat protein. That's the name of the muscle game for sure. North of 75 grams at least, if not upwards of 100. Uh, reach across here. It's the building block of muscle is protein. So, um, you know, if you aim to have protein in your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, switch sides, and maybe even if you're still hungry, eating a snack that has protein, that's gonna help you get up to 100 grams. Um, but, you know, really paying attention to the foods that you eat, ensuring that they have protein in them is a good way to start doing that. Let's do a little tricep stretch. <sighs> you could even just Google that. Foods with high protein content. And if you're vegetarian or vegan, that's really important that you get those sources from uh, lentils, black beans, chickpeas, tofu, temp. Um, I'm loving lentils right now. I do make a couple vegetarian meals per week. And the lentils, we do a curried lentil with lots of different veg in it and lots of curried, like turmeric and um, cumin and uh, curry paste. So delicious. Hand here, twist, drop your shoulders. My daughter loves it too, so that's good. Um, but yeah, there's lots of different options. You just have to do your research, do your due diligence, find out what items have protein and then work to prepare them. That's the thing with protein. By and large, it has to be prepared. Even with vegetarian proteins like um, eggs or beans, lentils, I mean, you have to make sure that those are cooked or rinsed or soaked or boiled or, you know? So um, it's, it's, it's important to make sure that you're prepared. Last stretch here, reach for, and let's just flex the feet a little bit, get into the calves a bit from our jumpy hops. That was great. Thanks for joining. Go move daily now in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. I'll see you guys in the next workout. And if you're looking for a lower body workout, you can click or tap the screen there for tomorrow's. And if you want a whole cardio hit, go ahead and click or tap the screen there. Our membership is there. As always, check it out and I'll help you join. All right, see ya.